Hello, we are group five and we are talking about Walmart. I am Lily Sandrell. I'm Emma Leisinger. I'm Lauren Rotundo. I'm John Kulchark. I'm Faith King. I'm Trinity Lindeman. So today we will be covering the history of the Walmart company and environmental analysis of the company their current marketing plan, and a competitor analysis against Walmart. I will be doing the history of the company. Who is Sam Walton? He is an American retail magnate and was the founder of Walmart Stores, Inc. He single-handedly built the company and started retail in the 1940s. He received the Medal of, um, Medal of Freedom in 1992, right before his death with cancer. His vision was Sam wanted to save people money so that they can live a better life and bring lower prices and bigger stores to rural towns. He also wanted to create great customer service and bring value and opportunities to his customers and his employees. <clears throat> it all started with Sam Walton's five, um, Walton 5 and 10 store located in Bentonville, Arkansas. It was a variety store and now is the Walmart Museum. It was a huge success, success, and led Sam to go bigger. In the 1900s, the first store opened on July 2nd, 1962 in Rogers, Arkansas. It started as an experiment <clears throat> and officially went public in 1970. The first distribution center and home office was opened in Bentonville, Arkansas. Walton introduced the Walmart Cheer, and in the 1980s, the first Sam's Club and Superstore opened. In the 1990s, they expanded to other countries and became the number one realtor in the nation. In the 2000s, Walmart's first online shopping site was introduced. They launched a $4 generic prescription drug program that is in 11 additional states, making the program available in all of the U.S. pharmacies, available in 811 stores throughout the U.S. In 2005, they they took a leading role in the disaster relief of Hurricane Katrina and Rita, contributing $18 million and 2,400 truckloads of supplies to the victims. They also made a major commitment to environmental sustainability, announcing goals to create zero waste, use only renewable energy, and sell products that sustain people and the environment. In 2010, like in the 2010s era, they hired um, honorable discharge of veterans with their first year off of active duty. They introduced the Culinary and Innovation Center in Bentonville to develop and test new and innovative products. They also introduced Walmart Pay as a fast and easy and secure way for customers to make purchases with their smartphones. Walmart launched a global commitment to sustainable agriculture, aiming to strengthen local farmers and economies while providing customers with access to affordable, high quality food. They raised their minimum wage to $11 an hour. They implemented new training programs and led employees to have more control over their schedules. And they expanded benefits. They also changed its legal name from Walmart Stores Inc. to just Walmart Inc. This is a slide of all the time, the timeline of all of their logos that they had throughout the years. <clears throat> Walmart is one of the most diverse private employers in the U.S. 50%, 57% of the workforce are women and 37% of the workforce are people of color. Walmart is very, a, sta a very stable company and is expected to grow within the next five years. They have a constant technology upgrades and they continue to be number one realtor in the retail industry as shown down below. And in the next slides, Emma is going to be talking about the environmental analysis. I'm Emma and this is the environmental analysis. So first we have the competitive forces. Walmart has been a leading corporation in retail next to many other stores such as Target, Meijer, Costco. Many of these stores sell the same products and also have the same layout. So Walmart has to find some way to keep them different and 
keep people wanting to go to their stores. So far, Walmart has done the everyday low plate prices um, to help people stay here for cheaper products. And they've also added services such as auto services, healthcare services, business services, and home services. So not only do they sell products, but they have services as well to keep them competitive. Next is the economic forces. Um, as we know this year, COVID-19 has played a significant, world, er, significant role in the economy worldwide, and Walmart has been affected like many other businesses. COVID-19 has also made demands for many products higher. Dan Bartlett, the executive vice president of corporate operations at Walmart, has explained that fair pricing has been hard to do during this time, especially because many third-party sellers are selling these products for way overpriced. Walmart has been working with law enforcement and public officials to help keep transparency during this time as well as keeping fair pricing in their business. Next is the technological forces. Um, obviously, we know that a lot of the world has gone online and Walmart has also done that by keeping them competitive and updated with the technological advances. So they have an online shop, obviously at walmart.com where you can go as well as online grocery shopping where you can order your groceries online and have them um, put out for delivery or to pick up at the store. They also have a partnership with Apple um, where you can online grocery shop with Walmart using the Hey Siri feature. Uh, you can just say Hey Siri and say what you want in the cart and then from there uh, have your groceries from delivery or pickup. Lastly is the social cultural forces. Walmart has around 2.2 million employees in over 24 different countries, which means Walmart is exposed to a lot of different cultures and a lot of different people. Walmart has made it very important to them to, um, to have everyone feeling included as well as enjoying the diversity in their business. And they have also helped um, with many social problems in the U.S. and helped give back to communities. Walmart has given over $100,000 over the last five years uh, to help change systematic racism, as well as giving over $2 million to help fight hunger. Next, pay, or next Faith will be talking about the current marketing plan. Hi, I'm Faith, and I will be covering the current marketing plan today with Lauren and John. So Walmart's current marketing plan is based off of an economy of scale, which is defined as the reduction of production costs that is a result in making and selling goods in large quantities, hence their everyday low prices. This is based off of their company mission statement of wanting to provide the lowest costs and the best services to their consumers that are that is possible. And this has made Walmart the greatest and largest retail organization in the world. By walking into any of Walmart's 10,800 stores, a consumer can automatically see this economy of scale perspective. They, Walmart provides a very wide range of products and services to their consumers, ranging from firearms to groceries. They also carry the wide product variety to create stronger relationships with their consumers so that they can do all their shopping in one place. Uh, their it, performance has been enhanced by creating technological methods and relating back to this customer service of their objectives. Um, Walmart has also held their sustainability as one of their largest objectives and was named an A-list corporation by the Co Ben Disclosure Project in 2019 and 2020. They also have maintained 29% of their operation through renewable energy and 89% of their waste has been diverted from landfills. This has led them to build the goals of being a zero waste corporation by 2025 and a zero emissions corporation by 2040. Relating back to this ethics, Walmart has five main categories uh, that they like to uphold within their corporation, ranging from diversity, community with an emphasis relating back to their company goals, corporate responsibility, disaster relief, and health and safety. Uh, next, we have market and segmentation. So for Walmart's target market, it's not really like a set um, division of people, it's more just a wide range. Um, they pretty much cater to everybody. 
um, some advantages Walmart has. They can, they have um, basically all the products every other store has, but for a cheaper price. Um, specialization, they don't really specialize in one area, like I said, but instead all areas. They have just about everything you'll ever need, whether it's food, electronics, things for the outdoors, um, household appliances, they've got it all. Uh, finally, for the segmentation, Walmart segmentation is more of a psychographic and demographic segmentation. So with this in mind, Walmart knows that their target market wants everyday goods for the lowest price possible. Um, for product, uh, we have tangible, which can result to a physical. Walmart has over 4,756 stores just in the U.S. and about 24 countries under their belt. Um, finances, they have an invested capital of about $86 billion and a revenue of over $559 billion, which is a great ratio. Um, they also have radio frequency identification on their stores that tell whether they're low on products or what they should stock up on for the coming seasons. And the stores organization is just set up pretty much that it's an easy way to find what you need and it's all kind of in the same area. Um, when it comes to intangible, they have IT systems which help customers with common questions about their products every day. Um, they have online price comparison, which is great because if you can find a price lower at a different store, you can basically go there and say, I found it lower and they'll match it. Um, they have an open door policy to allow their um, employees to bring concerns to their attention without the fear of being fired. And they have an immense training program for their employees if they want to go into like schooling or really work up the ladder for their positions. And Lauren has the next set. So next is place. Um, so this has to do with accessibility. Um, so as John just mentioned, everything in the store is laid out the same, but then it also has to do with um, how many stores there are. Everywhere you go, there's a Walmart. So even when you're not at your hometown Walmart, you still will go to one and know where everything is because they're set up the same. Um, E-commerce is also a really big thing that Walmart is getting into, online shopping, and with that, they have their own fleet of delivery trucks, um, which adds more efficiency with the delivery and hopefully allows more people to order online for them. For promotion, um, they do traditional ads like TV, radio, billboard, and then they also have their website and owned and paid social medias, so that's their own social media channels as well as um, sponsorships with influencers and things like that. They do philanthropic and charity. Um, so this is cash grants for local communities. And um, they also support natural disaster victims with cash, water, food, and whatever other things they might need. Um, personal selling, so this is with in-store attendants. Them helping out customers allows them to also upsell the customers as they're helping them to get a more expensive product and make more money for Walmart. Um, differentiated outlets, so what we know as the Walmart Superstore, that's what we have in Marquette, but there's also neighborhood markets, express stores, and discount stores. So if someone didn't really like the supermarket or the superstore, they can go to somewhere like a neighborhood market if it sort of fits them a lot better. Um, so there's not just one store, one option. What they promote is their pricing, their accessibility, and their warranty slash rep replacement policies. Um, so that's pretty unique to Walmart and allows people to feel more comfortable with big purchases. For price, they obviously their slogan is everyday low prices. Walmart is known for having low prices. They are the leader of low prices among retailers. Um, they're consumer focused, so this makes it so that they bring down the price in hopes that it brings in more consumers, and that's how they can have such a low price compared to other stores. They also use neuromarketing with their pricing, so they price products with specific numbers that studies show consumers think are a better deal. Um, this including is including adding odd numbers and decimals because those numbers are more believable for prices and non-rounded numbers appeal to logical consumers instead of the emotional consumer. 
Another important part of Walmart's marketing plan is the SWOT analysis, which compares Walmart's internal business against their competitors. Um, many of Walmart's strengths stem from their significant position as a global retail giant. These include uh, the company's position alongside their ability to explore diverse consumers due to their broad reach with their everyday low price um, slogan and company goal where their weaknesses, on the other hand, um, also need to be addressed alongside their strengths. The main reason behind many of their weaknesses is actually due to their large size as a corporation. These include their low digital sales and a failure to provide the competitive wages to their employees. However, their weaknesses provide a clear insight on the endless opportunities that the Walmart Corporation may have. One opportunity is that it is an internationally known company and therefore has a broad demographic. This can allow the company to expand the numerous demographics of their audience and explore the possibilities of moving their business into countries that they haven't yet to explore and even partner with those businesses as well. And stemming from their competitors, their threats that Walmart faces are also greatly related to the expanding community of the online retail world. The competitors such as Amazon offer a threat for easy accessibility as well as relatively low prices when comparing Walmarts. And next is Lily to cover the competitive analysis. So Amazon is Walmart's top competitor. They have been in constant competition since Amazon opened in 1994. Walmart leads with physical stores, but Amazon dominates the online. Each brand matches the innovative step-by-step. -step. They each started as two completely different type of retail. Walmart starts as a grocery and big box store that relied on its physical location, but Amazon started as an online bookseller. The lines between each company started to merge when Amazon expanded to the large retail and Walmart created a, lar a large online presence. The competition between the stores have been getting tighter and tighter as the years go on. According to Blake Morgan, a customer experience futurist, both stores have added additional services like Amazon Web Services, video and music, and Walmart's pharmacy. However, it wasn't until Walmart bought Jet.com and Amazon acquired Whole Foods that the true competition got started. Next slide. In September 2020, Walmart launched a subscription service that was huge competition to Amazon Prime. It includes free delivery, fuel discounts, and tools to help speed up the shopping experience at any Walmart store. When the coronavirus hit, both Amazon and Walmart's grocery services soared. Amazon has forced Walmart to redesign their e-commerce strategy to match in competition. As you can see, there are a few differences of Walmart Plus versus Amazon Prime. For example, the cost, the total numbers of items included, and then the different prices of delivery. Being side by side with Amazon, Walmart is attempting a new strategy in its pickup services by adding drones to its delivery services. As Tom Ward, the Senior Vice President of Walmart's customer service states, today we're taking the next step in our exploration of on-demand delivery by announcing a new pilot with Flytrex, an end-to-end -end drone delivery company. Although launching it in September 2020, Amazon ironically already had a similar drone service that was launched in December 2016. With limited physical buildings, Amazon drone radius is limited, while Walmart, Walmart has many physical buildings that can release the drones to a wide range. The many similarities between Amazon and Walmart have caused each company to push to be its best. Both companies, which benefit a variety of customers in many ways, hopes to create their own well-known brand. And this concludes our, our presentation, so thanks for watching.